Welcome back everyone. I wanted to do a little quick little comparison of the Xbox One S controller and just the Xbox One controllers in general against the Xbox Series S and Series X controller. Now as you can see theoretically, I'll go ahead and start off with the Series S controller. They're about the same thing in my opinion. There's a you know subtle few differences if you're comparing the whole entire Xbox One controller generation. This is pretty much what the whole entire system looked like for the most part, but this is pretty much what the controllers are going to look like for this one. And what I can tell you is, in hand, there's not really that big of a difference. I think the Xbox One S controller maybe doesn't have that much, you know, they feel kind of the same if I'm being completely honest, but you can automatically see that there's already some subtle differences. If you look at the Xbox Series S controller, you can see that you have the lack of the blackness up top, which the Xbox One S controller did have right there. So if you were, you know, looking at this part, it kind of blends in a lot more on the Series S. It kind of looks like the original Xbox 360 controller, but I do kind of like the Xbox One S controller and just the One controllers in general because of that texture and the, you know, kind of separation. This one kind of looks like one big controller. This one looked a little bit more modern, which is weird because this one is older. Now, also looking on the front, you'll see that you have the new dedicated share button on the Xbox Series S and Series X controller. The Xbox One S and all of the generations didn't have that share button right here. And what it really does is I've demonstrated in a separate video, but you can go ahead and take screenshots, screen recording, just straight from the controller without having to open up a guide every single time. And that's a pretty cool thing in my opinion. Though something that's kind of annoying on the you know Xbox One generation, but on the Series S, we don't have to do that anymore. We have a dedicated button for it. Now in terms of the buttons themselves, as you can see, I really don't think there's a big difference. They're X, Y, B, A. There's not a big difference at all. Almost the same as that colors as well. The whole entire color of the controller is about the same too. As you can see, the joysticks are about the same. But there is one subtle difference with these little arrow keys right here. As you can see with the new controller, they are actually just, you know, right there. And they're definitely more tactile, I think. They're definitely a little bit more clicky, as you can hear it probably through the microphone. These ones are a little bit more mushy. But as you can actually see, it's kind of funny, they actually circled it out. So it definitely, I think this one looks a little bit cooler. But also, I don't, I didn't mind it, you know, it was something different. I looked at this controller a thousand times and looked at this one probably a hundred times. And I didn't even catch that until the beginning of this video. So as you can see, the side by side, the arrow keys are a little bit changed here. There's still the circular design at the very bottom up there. Now at the bottom of both controllers, you can kind of see we have the same thing going on, the same audio jacks, the same microphone inputs and all that. So definitely not a difference there by any means, which I think is a good thing. Now up top, this is basically where you can see where the white and the black differences lie. Now, first of all, we do have USB type C on the Xbox Series S. We didn't have that. We had micro USB on the Xbox One S controller. Now, it may not be a big deal to you, but I actually do prefer USB C. That's a really awesome feature that the Series S controller has. It may just be worth the upgrade for a lot of people. In terms of the buttons, they feel about the same here too. Not a big difference at all. But if you look on the back, you can see we pretty much have the same setup. Now, I did remove my battery cover here, and I'll go ahead and remove the battery cover on this little controller as well. And you'll pretty much see that we do have dual battery support on both. Nothing different here. Of course, you can add a rechargeable battery if you want to, but everything else about the consoles are about the same in terms of the controllers. They feel the same. They have the same about heft to them. I don't really think... I want to see if this will actually fit on the Xbox One S controller. Let's just see. And apparently, I don't think it will. I don't want to jam it in there, but it's not that bad. Like I think they're pretty close. I mean, the fact that I even got that close into it versus here... It's pretty easy. Actually, that was pretty hard too. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I mean, I, I would definitely say it's a jump up in some areas. I kind of still like how the Xbox One controller still looks like though. And I feel like a lot of people may be in the same boat. Now, I think I was able to get a PS5. I don't know yet if it was a scam or not. So whenever I get it, I'll go and compare those controllers to one another too. But I don't really think this was a huge jump in the controllers. They feel about the same. The reason I mentioned the PS5 is because a lot of people said that controller feels super premium and it feels really good in the hand. So once I get it, I guess we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much the comparison between these controllers. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.